I'm bearded and bored. Let's go find something to do. All right, so what are we doing today? What project? Hang on. You're all, you're filthy. You're filthy, camera lens. You're so dirty. Yeah. You should get a spanking. Too much. I just said, yes, man. I mean, anything. Today on Bearded and Board, we are going to malt some corn. Two reasons to malt corn. One, you're gonna use it in a beer. Two, you're gonna use it in a uh, whiskey. But since we live in America and uh, home distilling is illegal, we're not gonna make whiskey. We're gonna make a beer. What exactly is malting and why do we do it? Well, malting is just where you take uh, some grain and moisten it and let it germinate. Basically, you're getting seeds to sprout. But you stop that sprouting process at a certain point and by drying out the, the seeds and the shoots in order to get the enzymes that are, are being produced inside the grain to be at a peak level and also to get the process to shut off so that the enzymes don't get used up by the growing plant. And what are those enzymes for? Well, inside your seeds is starch and starch is useless for fermentation. You can't ferment it. Yeast can't do anything with it. Yeast has to have sugar. So in order to turn the starch inside of the, each of the seeds into a sugar that can be used, you need those enzymes that are naturally produced inside the seed as it's starting to grow. Those are in there in order to convert that starch to sugar, which starch is a more stable uh, food source, but it's not easily usable by the plant. So it converts it into sugar in order to be able to use it quickly to grow very fast and you know shoot up out of the ground. But uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our grains sprouting, we're gonna stop the process and then dry them, and then uh, you know we'll see what we're gonna use them for. I've, I've got a couple of beers in mind that um, do well with a little bit of corn adjunct in them, and I'm looking forward to that. So we shall see. Well, let's get started here. I'll show you what we need. I'm using popcorn, one, because I like the, uh, the flavor that it gives to the, the beer, and two, you can get it in the grocery store, and the closest homebrew store to me is like 45 minutes away, so getting uh, different adjunct grains is kind of a pain in the ass. Plus, nobody sells malted corn. I don't know why. Um, you can find it very small amounts for very expensive, or you can spend $6 on corn, uh, on popcorn and get a really decent result. So we're going to need uh, probably a couple of gallons of water. I got six pounds of corn but there's no reason for you to do that much. This stuff stores really well so I can actually keep it, um, I can vacuum seal it and keep it stored for a couple of years and it'll stay good. Um, I would recommend for your first batch just do a two pounder just so you can see how it works out. Um, you need a little towel, a little hand towel, some disposable aluminum containers, and if you can find the, the kind that comes with its own lid, that would be even better. And for one of the containers, go ahead and poke a bunch of holes in it. Once you get the water in, make sure all the kernels get nice and wet. If there are any that float, go ahead and pick those out and throw them away. They're bad. So you can see I've got the water basically just covering the kernels. That's not nearly enough because this stuff is all going to swell up. Here's a floaty, little floaty bastard. All this is going to swell up and absorb that water. Not like, you know, overflowing, but it may may come up to about here so we want to make sure that we've got enough water to accommodate that but now that it's got enough water in it with about an inch or so of water over the top we're going to throw the lid on and let this sit for about eight hours after it soaks for about eight hours i'm going to lift that perforated pan out and drain off all the water from that corn and then let it sit without any water on it for about eight hours and we're gonna take this little towel, soak that in water, 
and lay that over the top so that the kernels on top don't have a chance to dry out. And we're going to do that four times. Soak it, let it drain four times, and then on that last draining, you're going to just keep that wet towel on it and then come back and check on it every six, eight hours and give it a stir. And uh, we'll update again when we do that. As you can see from this close-up, these corn kernels have already started to sprout. This is about 24 to 36 hours after my last soaking. And I've had it sitting with just the towel and stirred it about every six to eight hours. So now that our corn has started to sprout, we're gonna continue with the wet towel and the stirring every six to eight hours uh, for the next five to seven days. And when the shoots start to get about an inch to an inch and a half long through roughly 70 to 90 percent of your 70 to 80 percent of your corn then you're going to go ahead and start the drying process i'll put a time lapse of the sprouting process so that you guys can watch that happen over the next couple of days and uh, so time travel starts now That's it for part one of the corn malting series. If you got any useful information out of this video, hit that like button. If you want to follow along with the series or find new ways to become more bearded and less bored, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon right next to it and you'll get notifications whenever I post a new video. If you have any questions about malting corn, go ahead and post those in the comments section down below and I'll answer them. So thanks for watching Beard and Bored. I'll talk at you later.